Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Geico and Academics Persona 5 stream. It's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Yo, what's up? We're live with part 35, and I think we may find the polish today. Hey, Reiko, I want to let you know if I want you to let me know if my mic is all right because I switch the port so let me know if anything happens with it like if it's acting up because I think it might be good now but I could be wrong anyways let's hop into it let's hop into the fun let's do the damn thing hey Morgana go fuck yourself I think we need to go to bed. Wait for Futaba's data analysis. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind. You should get some rest. Don't worry about this. Wait, wait, wait a second. Why do I feel like that happened already once? I hope I loaded the right. Hey, sis. Oh yeah, I did. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? Yes, I am. Diligent. I have souvenirs for you. Oh, I got some souvenirs. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. R.I.P. motherfucker. Oh yeah, he got hit by a bus. Struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. Got him. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? Thank God. But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Oh, he had a change of heart, did he? Are you saying he was targeted by the phantom thieves? But that's impossible! That's impossible. How are you so certain? Because they never sent out a call-in card. Well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? No. I don't really know. He seemed really like the regular weirdo. After all, I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Bye, sister. Makoto? Yes. Hmm? Never mind, it's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? Roger that. <sighs> this is bad. I'd better tell the others. You better tell the others. Tuesday the 13th the thing the day when all the good things you are clever What's because that? they never sent out the calling call. I am clever right it's the first time at school in a while it shows how much of a detective she is she doesn't even know about the calling cards I'm so sleepy you over your jet lag fuck yeah I am for real? That was quick. Oh yeah, never mind that. Did you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention who we're going to target next. Ain't that amazing? Hold on a second. Someone is messaging me that never messages me. I'm getting really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. What the fuck? Whoa, did you just get on? Yeah, I just got on. I got on and I was on earlier too. 
Huh? What about class? There's another urgent assembly. Is it true he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happened in this school? Are we cursed? You not on the notification squad anymore, mercenary? What's your problem? I think sometimes YouTube fucks up. This has to it's be not your fault. Blood, right? With the principal. I wonder if that suicide rumor's for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. You can't switch to YouTube night mode? Are you on, um... Are you on the web, like on a desktop computer, or are you on your phone? I know if you're on the web, if you just go to like gaming.youtube.com, it'll go to dark mode. Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Or if you're on your phone, yeah, just go to gaming.youtube.com and then go to my channel. Or if, you, if you're on your phone, Reiko, and you want it to be dark, like you wouldn't really notice on your phone, but it, you have to download the YouTube gaming app. Just in YouTube gaming, everything's like dark, like the the page is all dark instead of all light. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? What if what if this incident is gonna cause people to think that the Phantom Thieves are bad? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. What is up with these awful voices all of a sudden? Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud shooters. Maybe our percent is gonna go down. <laughs> oh shit. You know what that means. Yeah, you miss Eggman's death. Way to go, mercenary. Those traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No. How I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping. Oh shit! She would never do something so foolish. Or would she? And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Will you believe me now? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. You do have reason. I'm sleeping with your sister. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. Oh, let's grow our bond very deep. Yes. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Well, let me tell you the story. Why did it turn out as it did? Sit back and relax. I need you to tell me everything. That's right. I'm boning both the sisters. Fuck! It's humid outside today. <clears throat> Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. No. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? No, I uh, no. What do you mean? 
If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. Yeah, I'd be raping girls. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. Yeah, they're not mentioning the other Metaverse user when we both know that's who it is. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. And now that the Phantom Thieves have merchandise, I'm going to make Academics merchandise with Geiko on the back. This is kind of scary. Please, submit your pre-orders. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. What? Corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. Shut up, Rako. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. Look at how closely um, Joker and Makoto's clothing match. They're such a cute couple, right? They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. Oh, Futaba. Totally next target. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly, beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is unsettling. You're such a downer, Yusuke. Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, on? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today then. Yeah, they are uniforms, I know. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Oh, you also missed two mercenaries. We went to Hawaii. You had a choice to choose between <coughs> hanging out with Reiko, not Reiko, <laughs> between <laughs> hanging out with Ryu or hanging out with Makoto. And I went on a date with Makoto, and she what fell in you, love with me. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? Oh what shit. What are talking about is using the Phantom Thieves name to pick up girls anyway. We have a confrontation inside the group. Popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. Shut the fuck up, Morgana. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. No, you so can't. Looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, she was she more was useful than you, as a matter of fact. Oh, shit. Hey, that's inexcusable! 
I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. There's trauma. Right then, bring it on. Ryuji, stop. You're arguing with a fucking cat. Shut up, Morgana. This is goodbye. Bye. What's gotten into you, you fucking dumb cat? Wow, just because you couldn't come to Hawaii, you gotta be a stick in the mud. I bet he's back in no time. Damn it. Fucking cat. <sighs> Mona did leave my ass. I hope Mona gets kidnapped by a bird. All right, I've managed by myself before. I can do it again now. I just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Like that cat's gonna ever take Bye. down shit. Huh, that kitty. We keep seeing this girl a lot recently, too. I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month Kitty, is now kitty. The principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. You're an idiot, woman. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. I'm really messed up. What? Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't see. Who's there? Esther. Morgana's fucking getting fucked. Who is this girl? Morning. Hey, have you seen Morgana? I'm worried, I guess. Me too. I kind of just expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Or oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. <coughs> huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's impossible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I remember. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. <laughs> Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Oh well, have a good day. R.I.P. Morgana. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. I don't buy that 
Our principal's death was an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? But why? Think about Kamoshida's victims. The principal's just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumman cleansing to purify the world. You really care about what girl? Reiko, what, what girl are you talking about? Futaba? What makes you say that? That's disappointing. Yesterday, my wife threw out one of my books without asking me. The Akumuru Way, and it was even signed. With his logical management skills, he revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He then started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative adventure. Okumuru's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could sh she sell that to a second-hand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree, Domen Kun? Do you know the answer? Secondhand shops are also known as thrift stores. Do you know when the earliest ones appeared? I would say the 18th century. 19th century. Very good. Correct. It takes incredible business account. Acumen to figure out how to both how to be both profitable and charitable at once. All right. I just remembered there are rumors that President Okumura may be getting into politics. It is true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways. I would love to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. Fuck that. Fuck that guy. Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Okay. Yay, let's wait together in case Morgana comes home. I wonder what's up with Mor Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. He should just stay away forever. Just kidding. We love Morgana. Morgana's the best. Where did they go? We must find them. What the fuck? Oh, Magorda's teamed up with that girl. The screen is buffy. I think that's your own problem because I'm watching the stream right now and it's fun. Reiko, is your screen buffy? Whatever that means. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Oh shit. That's Morgana. Hey, this is that Akumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. She's texting him beside him. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. Hey, how's my mic, Reiko? Has it been fucking up? You think Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to o Akumoru's palace tomorrow. Fuck yeah. How's the mic issue though, Reiko? Has it been good? Did I solve the mystery of the mic issue? Morgana's no longer in our room. Morgana went into Akamura's palace. Is it true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly unlikely. Highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little bit more. Alright, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I'd prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget, everyone. I wonder if I can do anything. For fuck's sake. I thought with Morgana not here, I'd be able to do whatever the fuck I want, because he always tells me to go to bed. 
Okamura Foods, like the guy in the rankings? Apparently the windows at their office got busted. Whoa, what happened? That's scary. But is it the Phantom Thieves? Hey, no way. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, he he's not telling me when to sleep, but now I'm telling myself when to sleep. Morgana's gotten into my head. I can't stop watching news about the Phantom Thieves. Hilarious. Man, this place sucks. My boss is just the worst. All he does is dump overtime on me while he dashes off right at 5. I wish the Phantom Thieves would work their magic on him. What would that be like if they changed his heart? Well, they say you become the opposite of how you normally are. So I guess he'd become more open-minded, communicate better, and start taking initiative. He'd basically be an awesome as the president of Okumaru Foods. Please, Phantom Thieves, please make this happen. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? What do you mean, mercenary? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? We'll know soon enough. I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Oh shit. Huh? The hell? She's good at what she does. Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Get it? Big Bang? Um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. How exciting. We'll be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? I'm activating it now. Ooh, oh my good lord, this fucker. Oh god, no. I don't like this guy. I really don't like this guy. I really If this guy joins our party, I'm quitting the game. You're already considered threats? President Okumura must be on guard what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. As though we're in a film. I wish I brought my sketchbook. Fucking Yusuke. He's not focused enough. Hey. Mona might be in here somewhere, yeah? Come on, we gotta get looking for him. This is that techno music. Right. For fuck's sakes. Wait a second. Is Yusuke not in our party right now? Wait, is there only three people coming with us? For fuck's sakes. I don't really want Anne to come with us, I'd rather have Yusuke. I don't really like Anne all that much, but she's in a swimming suit, so she should probably come with us. Let's be honest. She wins the sex appeal. Sorry, Reiko. Let's let, look how she's in a bathing suit and everyone's dressed. Let's see here. Looks like a lever for the elevator to me. And it should be working now. For real, you're amazing, Oracle. <laughs> that was nothing. It's certainly reassuring having you with us. Anyway, let's try using the elevator. Is the accessory not on Anne? Oh, the accessory is on Anne. I put it on everyone but, um, Chris. Look. Cause he put on the tiki keychain. Cause I want to try it out. It's the keychain that Makoto gave me. 
Oh yeah, you weren't here for that either, mercenary. She gave me a keychain last time because she's in love with me. Oh, I haven't been in a palace in so long. I totally forgot about doing shit like this. Somewhere. I'm fucking excited. Yusuke's not with us. It's just nudie, girl. Look at that ass. Hey, hey, baby. How you doing? Hey, look, she's trying to kiss me. Hey, wifey. How's it going there? Anyways. What's all that noise? What is that? Robots? There are tons of them. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. What are they talking about? Don't worry, Reiko. Makoto knows I love her. being disposed of these robots are part of Okumura's cognition correct that means they represent true that's what they appear to be externally however this is most likely how the workers of Okumura foods are viewed by their CEO so he thinks they're his robots if they're treated like this in reality as well and the company truly is exploiting them. Yeah, Yusuke, you're so right. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said. Mona is our main objective here. Futaba's so loving. Seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. <sighs> Damn it. I wonder what Mona's doing in here. We need to find him fast. Hello. 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 Focus. Focus. It's time for us to focus. Is there something I can get? Because I missed one of these already. Fuck. Somewhere. Huh? What? Hold on a second, Joker. Why do we only have two in the party? Or three? The door is closed. Is there any way by which we can open it? Performing biometric authentication. What does it mean by that? Authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed past this oh, point. This is... The security system might be a bit of a problem. Good job, Ryu. What's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early, but we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Halt, vigilante! Uh oh, there's that girl, probably. Who's that? What the <sighs> fuck? Those clothes. <gasps> Could she be? She looks pretty what? badass. Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So, she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who's been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> oh, God. Enough of your misunderstanding. Mona! Now I even hate Mona more. Okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. <laughs> if you came for the treasure, 
You should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... 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 This beauty thief! This beauty thief! Beauty thief? That's quite the name, Morgana. I'll have you know, she's a Persona user too. Yeah, we figured that much out, Persona. Beauty thief is beauty thief. Okay, beauty thief. She really called herself that? Uh, any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. <laughs> Treasure. Okay, you sound really sure of yourself. You said that. It's the booty thief. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. God. You understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is. Yes. And knowing as fuck like the both of you. You. What do you think it means? One who. Helps the weak. Yes, that's right. Enough with the idle chit chat. This must be Mona's real life sister. They're both retarded. Mona, who the hell is she? It's Beauty Thief. Wait, I'll fix this. You. Me. Me. No. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. You're one to talk, beauty thief. What? Um. And you have nice boobs. What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. Treasure. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. No point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. Behind you! Here they come. Huh? Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Cringe all over the place. Hey. <coughs> what the tired. fuck? That was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. <laughs> oh, damn it. Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door. That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Oh. Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? That's not like him. I want to believe that too. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us, such as exposing our identities. <sighs> Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? What about Akechi? Didn't he come in? Tone physique. She looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think. Wait, what? Makoto is the Glad true whatever that I've says. Seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. 
We're gonna take them down. Waifu. Makoto, the true waifu. Wi-Fi. Things are really starting to heat up online. People are going on and on bashing Okumoru foods. Apparently, they've been secretly using low-quality ingredients brought in from overseas. Furthermore, any employees who were suspicious of Okumoro, Okumura were let go without reason. That coupled with the mysterious death of a rival company CEO, what's this all of a sudden? Things are going up in flames. I don't really get what kicked it off, though. People have been coming after us, too. They think we should just hurry up and punish them. That's irresponsible. They're just acting like spectators or something. It wasn't like this just a few days ago, though. Could there perhaps have been a whistleblower from within? Come on, we've got even more reason to take Okumoro down now. Can we really accept all this information as truth, though? Either way, we need to do something about Morgana. Yep, anyways, see you tomorrow. Rico, are you like behind in the stream or something? I stopped saying beauty thief like five minutes ago. Okamura Foods again. Did something happen? They're getting sued. Apparently they're pretty shady. You mean how they screw their employees for the sake of profit? If he's that corrupt, then he deserves to be targeted. This is where the Phantom Thief should come in. Yeah. Have you checked out the fan site? Okamor is the top of the list. Well, the CEO of Big Bang Burger, why? Apparently, they're really shitty to their employees. They never pay overtime, yet people work hard enough that one actually died. I also heard that a pissed off former employee is the one who trashed their corporate entrance. There's a lot of terrible rumors about them, including that they strong arm their competitors. Yikes, I just ate there yesterday. I never really thought about how they make so much food for so cheap. I hope nothing weird's mixed in. What the hell is that picture of mercenary that you put in chat? That emoji, I can't tell what that is. Would someone normally call themselves beauty thief? I bet Morgana made her say it. Uh, it's still a weird thing to say even if he told her to. Plus they lied about her being able to use a persona too. We don't know if that is indeed a lie though. But we didn't see her use one. No matter how you slice it, she's totally just an amateur. Don't let your guard down. I don't think we gotta worry about that, dude. We can't take her lightly. She has Morgana on her side, remember? Oh, music notes. I agree with Futaba. At the very least, they're one step ahead of us. True, an amateur would not have been able to open that gate. They've clearly figured out something we don't know. We'll need to uncover the identity of that masked girl. Why the fuck do they need to know who she is? Let's just go in the goddamn palace. And this girl's hot. Yes, yeah, she is. Ah, but she's younger than me. Ryuji. Ryuji. No way. She's the same age as me. She looks like my dad's friend. Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? I'm sure. Someone sure is confident. Hmm? This girl! Oh, shit. Okumura. Okumura? Is that her daughter? What? His daughter? Wasn't the beauty thief like this, too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> what 
What the fuck? This girl, it's Haru Okumuru. Uh, are you okay? Um, would you happen to be interested in gardening? Yeah, you want some help? Really? In that case, if you could help me unload this. Boys sure are strong. Thank you. Anything for you. You're second year, aren't you? That makes me just a tad older. Um, have we met somewhere before? Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Haru Okumura, correct? Oh, it's my girlfriend. The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you were inside your father's palace? I've looked you up on Facebook. I know everything about you. Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the metaverse. Oh, no shit. Way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. I just want my father to atone for his crimes and help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we were... No, thank you. I will do this with Monochan and him alone. You're a goddamn bitch. Hate your guts. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Yeah, you are. We're gonna capture your hall. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. What young man? His father. Very well then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. Sell your body to the man so I can become I powerful. Can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. Uh, 
Alrighty then. It's his fault, right? The CEO of Okumaru Foods. Why are the Phantom Thieves letting him go free? What's the point of that poll? Hurry up and take him out already. I'm disappointed. What kind of heroes are they? Just hurry up and send a calling card already. Fuck off with your dots, Rayco. I swear to God, I'm gonna get a bunch of dots and stick them up your ass. Hey, I found some weird comments on Mishima's website. They were thanking us for resolving requests that we didn't actually complete. It's probably just a prank, but those requests are indeed resolved. Someone must be getting into mementos other than us. Fucking Morgana? The greedy's probably taking the beauty thief with him too. We should look into this. I was thinking of persuading Okumoru-san at school, but she's been avoiding me. How are we going to look into this then? We'll stake out mementos. Good plan. I'd rather chase him down instead of sit and wait. The method is indeed a classic one, but it is a safe bet. Yeah, I think it's better than just looking for them randomly. I'm going to have all sorts of snacks. No teachers to stop me on this field trip. Well, why don't we get this over with? Let's do it tomorrow. I guess we're going to Mementos. Can you just be nice to Moda for once? I swear to God. Can you just be nice to me for once, Reiko? I swear to God. I swear to fucking God, Reiko. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back and we'll go into mementos. Give me two minutes, please. Shifter, 
Hello, I'm back. Alright, it's time to be nice to Mona. Fuck Mona. That's how long that lasted, Reiko. I can't believe it. Isn't it a little strange that Akumura is the top vote on the fan site? I mean, there's tons of other companies that do the same thing. Maybe they're slinging him out for all the praise he gets. Besides, there's a bunch of strange rumors starting to surface about his company. Oh, I mean like all that stuff happening to his competitors? Don't tell me you buy that Ocula BS. I'm sure it's a coincidence. Rick will fuck off with your weird faces you make. I don't even know what the hell half those things are. Like, what is that? Like, what the hell is that supposed to be? Hi, how's everyone doing? Worn out from your trip? Come on, you're young. Hawaii doesn't even count as going to a foreign country. It's full of Japanese tourists. I bet you're able to speak Japanese wherever you went, weren't you? The shopkeepers will use Japanese to pressure you into buying things as if their life depended on it. I'm used to it though, so I actually haggle with them in English. Oh, nice. Is that your orgasm face? Reiko, you fucking creeper. Just kidding. Show me how much your English has improved, Domen-kun. Let's hear it. We have a saying in Japanese, a skilled hawk hides its talons. What hides its claws in English? What? A cat. I don't even need to look. I know this is a cat, but I'm going to look because I'm a gangster like that. Definitely a cat. I'm a savage. Good. Very good. Cat ties their claws is the saying. Are you hiding some claws of your own? There are actually a lot of other expressions involving cats. Oh, he actually knew that. Maybe I should tap that ass. Why am I not knowledge for you? A cat has nine lives, for instance. It means that cats are so resilient that they won't even die even if you killed them. Oh, is that what that means? I'm learning so much in class today. Man, it's crazy how many people want us to change the heart of the CEO. I mean, duh, he was doing tons of shady shit. It sounds like everyone's expecting us to actually take him down. Come on, we gotta do this. I'm game. Hell yeah. That aside, does everyone remember the plan for today? Yes, we're to hold the stake out in mementos. You think they're gonna show? We'll just have to wait until they do. For real? We can't go back until we make up with Morgana. I'm sure they'll come. I hope you're right. How old is Yusuke? I don't know. They're in fucking high school. So I'd imagine he's... <coughs> 11. You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right?
I know already. And, and why are you just saying that to me? He doesn't look like a college student. He looks like a weirdo. Beauty thief too. Stop calling her beauty thief. We better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. Oh my god. Off way too much. There's these people annoy the shit out of me. Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended. But that would be my fault. It would be your fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? Morgana, you're too controlling. They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? Don't get too excited, Mona. You're vital to our team and please come back. Where's the option that says shut the fuck up? Really? Ryuji! We're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. They're just ignoring her. Well, it's like it was my bad too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. I <laughs> got him. Or if you're useless. What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless. For fuck's sakes. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Oh my god. Get in, beauty thief! Oh my god. This cat is making me want to kill myself. Don't count on me ever coming back. Fuck right off, Morgana. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine, we'll do this! Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. I can't handle Morgana right now. All right. We need to go after him and talk things through. Wait, whoa, nice clothing, Anne. It's a little nipply out here in mementos, don't you think? Let me hump your leg. I won't let myself get caught by someone like you. Hmm, we are facing a car here. Does it not seem somewhat reckless to chase them on foot? Okay. You sure give up easy. There are dead ends all over this floor. We can do this if we manage to corner them in one. <coughs> I thought Futaba was going to turn into a spaceship or some shit. Wait, can I see the layout of the floor? Got him. <laughs> How naive, you really think you've captured me? Yeah. Shit, look up. Sheesh, what would he have done if he ran us over? Hey. Stop complaining and let's get after him again. God fucking damn it, Morgana. I hope you get AIDS. Okay. Wonderful, we have reached him. Mona, will you listen? Shut up, I've got nothing to talk about with you guys. There will be no end at this rate. Did he crash? What was that? It came from over there. Let's go take a look. I really enjoy this Anne being in no clothes thing. It's pretty fucking funny. That idiot crashed. Yup, Mona, are you okay? Oh, Makoto, if she pulled out her bike, that would be sick. 
You gotta hear us out, Morgana. There's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on, there's no need to keep being so stubborn. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. My. What's that over there? What? Oh, maybe we only have three people because Beauty Thief's gonna fight with us eventually. Shoot. I should have known. Seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Ugh, oh, those two. It'll never end at this rate. What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of this engine at all. Could they have left mementos? <sighs> Our lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. Damn it, freaking Morgana. what you wanted of course it was you made me look everywhere for you what were you doing somewhere without any reception out late with guys that's it isn't it or if that's the guy she's dating or supposed to be dating come on let me have some fun too will you what an asshole. Can't you do that for me? Oh no, the beauty thief is in trouble, Reiko. What shall we do? Haru! You little What the goddamn cat? Monachan! Damn it. I I really am useless at this rate. Someone, anyone, is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana. He is so getting it the next time we run into him. Some... Was that Mona's voice? Hey, over there. That doesn't seem right to me. Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Gross. What? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. You are so late, Blasi babe. Really, your fiance? Oh, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight, though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness, even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> it seems she has her reasons. I'll, um,. Apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? My place? Thanks. Bring all the women to my place. It's okay, Blasi, baby. You don't have to be sorry. I'm sorry. I fell asleep.
Did you get enough rest? You love hearing beauty thief Reiko don't fuck around. Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. Morgana, if you don't stop acting like a fucking <laughs> little piece of shit. Phantom thieves for your sake. I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Hold on one second. You should stop lying. What you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here. Don't you? Of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is, I... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. I won't stand for this. Oh yeah. That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana. Morgana. I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. Oh my god, Morgana. You're really beginning to drive me crazy. That's why. To me, this team is... Come on, say it. You can, can do, do it. it. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. I want to stay here forever and be a cat with you guys. That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start. Jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you too. All this because of one fucking Hawaii trip. Uh, so, well... Morgana, Morgana's like the girlfriend of my nightmares. I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? Got it. I expect great things. I'd better make up for the time we wasted dallying around. 
You don't love Mona. Stop lying. Nobody loves Mona. Holy shit. Me and Morgana are tight as fuck. Chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack with 1 HP remaining. Sounds like an ability in Wonder Tactics, am I right? And wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter. Hmm? Oh crap, the last train's coming up! I must go as well. Bye. Let's continue this another time. Let's not and say we did. Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man, this place is as drab as always. Damn you, Pla. Well, I was thinking Plath and people like, for instance, uh, Raiden has that ability too, for himself. I don't know if it's called Escape Death or not. Some other people have that ability too. I always, who else has that ability? Lots of people have that ability. Well, not lots, but quite a few. Hmm. Hold on, can I do something? Probably not, because you're a little bitch. All right, let's get a shake if we're allowed to. Hey, what's going on here? You brought over another girl? <laughs> you brought over another girl? Huh? Huh? Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. What's this girl doing here, your player, player? Don't get any ideas, you old creepy bastard. That's not what I meant. Anyway... Don't break her heart, all right? All right, I'll try not to. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. Fuck my parents. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know. No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right. Can we exchange contact info? Okay, this is our new party member. Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? Take the fucking cat with you, please. Well... No, take her. Take him. Take the cat. I insist. For fuck's sakes. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I was wondering that too, if you get to hear a transform or not. I don't think you do, maybe. Not like maybe the first time she fights, she'll just do a thing. Full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Yes, it's fine. need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? We can meet.
anticipating. So what are we gonna do about Akumuro? Nobody wants to go back out after we come this far, right? Of course not, it's highly likely he has some involvement in the mental shutdown case. Yeah, we can't just let that slide. Plus our fans are really hoping we go for it, fans. But if we want to accomplish anything, we'll need Har Haru's help. Let's talk to her. Oh yeah, she said she wants to come chat at LeBlanc tonight. Chat? About what? It sounded serious. Let's continue this at LeBlanc then. See you there, everyone. Mm. Haru, what could be wrong? I wonder why she wants to talk to us. How do you say her name? I feel like I'm getting it wrong, like I got everyone's name wrong. What are they doing? Hurry up and take him down. The Phantom Thieves wouldn't let us down, would they? They'll definitely do it. I want to watch the guilt eat him away. I wonder what they're going to tell us this time. She looks like a nurse or something. It's that same fiance guy, right? Hal Halu? To happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to It's the Haru, to you him. dingle. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. Morgana just said it, Reiko, and she made the R sound. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course. I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourself. You better brace yourself. Suddenly lecturing us. Fine, it doesn't matter. Listen. Haru's barely a hair. Haru. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. Haru. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. transform at the very least but to be frank she may slow us down I'm sorry for causing such trouble nah don't worry about it it's actually convenient for us to target that CEO check out this news blog there's a lot of negative comments in regard to the phantom thieves the names of obvious criminals have come up so why haven't the phantom thieves acted yet the way they're getting heated is on a different level. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course. We'll get them both. October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. That's Reiko's birthday. Just kidding. I don't fucking know when Reiko's birthday is. I can't forgive them. Hold on one sec. Jesus Christ.
Haru's his daughter. He can't just treat her like something he owns. It's Phantom Thieves. It's our duty to punish him. God damn it. I can't even go to my fucking get my shake for fuck's sakes. How's this plant doing? It's so fucking healthy, that plant. I should write something. Go to bed, bitch. Okay. I can never go to the shake place because I'm always skipping Sundays. Well then. People are starting to wonder when the next calling card is going to show up. We should send it soon. If Haru is sold off, our failure will sully the Phantom Thieves' name. Mission start. Hey. hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? When is the calendar here? Uh, autumnal Equinox Day? Alright, it's like two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks. What shall we do? Palace? Holy god, you guys are excited. How many lockpicks do I have? Oh, come to think of it, you did buy a laptop. It's broken though, so what are you gonna do? Let's fix this fucking laptop. Getting this thing to work won't be easy. Fixing this will take quite a bit of time. Let's try fixing it. This is fucking awesome. God, this is so complicated. I don't even know what that part is. Just be careful. I see. So all computers are essentially made up of different components that are assembled. What are your thoughts? You finished fixing already? Then again, the damage wasn't too bad to begin with. Repairing such a complex machine is sure to have improved your proficiency. I'm a fucking genius. All right. Hello, this is Shady Commodities Tank Tanaka. I repeat, I'm Shady Commodities Tanaka. Here we sell wonderful and rare items that are not circulated among the general public. Curious about something? We've got access. Want something? You've got access. Hmm? What the heck? It just went to that site automatically? Was it configured to do that beforehand? Shady Commodities? So it's an online shopping site? Well, we should check it out tomorrow though. It's late. That's fucking cool. Please excuse me for messaging you so late in the evening. A true apologize for what has happened in this case. So formal. She seems to be a particularly con conscientious person. It kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance between us though. We're teammates, Haru. But I'm the newest member. I need to act respectfully. We don't really pay mind to those kind of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. Do you mean... Sorry, I think my fingers typed that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great, I hope we get to be the bestest of friends, Mako-chan. Uh, sorry about that. I swear I got carried away. <laughs> Fucking Ryu every time. Speech and my other girlfriend. Or laptop. Let's go see this girl. Do you have time today? Time to get some confidence leveled up. That's right, your next opponent will finally be a professional. My client's a big shot in the Pro Shogi Players Association, so I work really hard to set it up. That's... Look up to Ryu, Haru. But... Hmm, is this young man a fan of yours? Hifu me? No, mother. He's my shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your shogi friend? Hmm. Let me just say this. I hope you're not harboring any weird feelings for Hifu me. <gasps> mother. As I'm sure you're already aware, you're not allowed to date, young lady. You started to attract a number of new male fans with all your photo spreads. Yes, mother. 
You can get 50 guys like him once you're famous. I need you to accomplish the things I was never able to. Now I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. You're not allowed to date. Wink, wink. That's right. It's my mother's rule since the majority of Shogi fans are men. My father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He's actually calm, but when he played, you could really feel his spirit. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admire him too. So I started playing shogi too. But after pouring everything he had into shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, shogi stole both her dream and her husband. And yet she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional sho so I can make money to ease my parents' burden. Um. Yeah, those kind of parents, Reiko, right? I do photo, shops and photo shoots and interviews, hoping they'll add some money to our household income, but it's honestly quite difficult for me. Have you told your mother? Well, she's certainly enjoying dealing with the media again after such a long time. However, no one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in the hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family, and I want to support them through our troubles. <sighs> this isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on, focusing on such negative topics before I'm at. Well then, let's play. Today I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. I won't have any defense up, if you know what I'm saying. This will teach you how to escape from disadvantaged situations. Allows you to attempt to escape even when surrounded by the enemy. Right. Perfect. Are you ready? That aura, my red eye is twitching now. It's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. Start. Now, to a fair match. He's just fucking terrified. When is this gonna level up? All right. Until next time. That wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lesson next time. Damn, our fucking fandom is through the roof. Make her orgasm? Is that what you're trying to say, Reiko? With your creepy faces? Let's grab a bite after school. I do have some Big Bang Burger coupons, but we probably shouldn't go there anymore, huh? Uh, no, I hear you'll have a psychotic breakdown if you eat there. I mean, haven't all of Okumaru's enemies died in strange ways? Maybe he feeds them poison burgers. What a monster. You know, I voted Akumaru on the fan site. The Phantom Thieves have a duty to punish bad people. I hope they take care of him soon. For fuck's sakes. Twenty-one days left. We don't really have time to relax. Y you know. Wanna head to the palace? What are you doing right now? Ain't we going to the palace today? I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. I've been hanging with Ryu in a long time. What are you talking about, Reiko? You creeper. Hey. Let's hang out. Good to take a break every so often. Do you want to hang out with Ryu? I do. It's a gym over in Shibuya. Pretty damn cheap too. Come on, I'll show you the way. This might enable us to start working out. Because I know there's a gym I could never go into before. Protein Lovers. My favorite. Here we are. Protein Lovers Gym. It's pay per visit. So you don't got to worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy. But there are tons of variety. Plus, it's real damn cheap. Totally worth, even without a pool or hot tub. By the way. Oh yeah, bring your stuff. A protein powder? Hell yeah, man. If you want to beep up, you gotta... Wait, that ain't it. I'm talking about spare undies. Getting back in your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't get in your hopes up. No way I'm gonna let you use mine. Get going? Anyways, let's head in. 
All right, right. I like this gym attire. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. Sakamoto? Whoa. Don't you mean good morning? Ha, uh, you're so excellent as ever, Sakamoto. <laughs> Heck yeah, man, I've been studying my words and shit. Of course you have. Oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm, I haven't seen you here before. Were you on the track team? He's uh, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? I'm managing, but how about you, senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's track team. You'd think I would have quit entirely after what happened. About that, I'm really sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashi as well. That's because you needed him to write you a letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future, but I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamashi just clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpa. I always regretted not doing more to protect you guys, but I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team's being reinstated. For real? For real? I mean, Kamashita confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team together and told them they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Odd, the rumors got as far as me and I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamu Chi 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 as their new advisor. Huh? Yamu Chi Chi? Hold up. That Yamu Chi Chi? Yep, the one who's basically Kamashita's lapdog. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. Is he is. You know now that the team is being reinstated, there's no need for any bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they would use someone with your passion. Yeah. That was a novel and a half. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nako, 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 and them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their advisor, Yam Chi Chi. He's basically like a mini Komoshida. So he's an asshole? Uh. Basically. He'd always yell at us in practice, but then he'd be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. I can't believe a moron like that's going to be advising the track team. He doesn't even peach P.E. He's got to be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm going to need your help too, okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need, yeah? I'll be counting on you. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. Alright, we don't got time to be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, I gotta shower first. See ya. Ah. Ah. Thirsty for info. You're thirsty for that dick. Let's go see if we can hang out. Who should we hang out with? I want to go to the clinic. Nope. Not in the clinic. What else could I do? I guess I could just hang out with that dude. At the gun house.
for fuck's sake. Some people are so dumb. Everyone has a secret they don't want anyone to know. I barely use a PC because I'd be in trouble if I got hacked. So you're because you saw my message, right? I want to work. The guy you're looking for is homeless, but he knows what's up. He'll be somewhere in Shibuya. Get info on the rumor about the underground deal and don't act all suspicious. I gotta take care of some other business, so I'm counting on you, kid. Get. Get. So, you wanna know about some underground business deals, huh? You know you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Or are you maybe looking for something a little more? I can see it in your eyes. Who sent you here? It's none of your business. Sure, anyways, I'll tell you. But just this once, you're getting into some shady business here. Alright, just act like I'm mumbling to myself. You got it? No promises I'm going to say anything useful either. So an exec from the Hong Kong Mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's of this year. Apparently something big went down with a huge Asian investor. A deal was worth about 10 million yen, 100 million yen. Though you'd figure something more, something that massive would have got more people talking about it. Maybe at least some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't think hear a thing about that, though. Alright, we're done here. Get the fuck out my face, motherfucker. Your store is impressive as always. Great stuff. Y yeah. It's nice to hear that coming from you, Tusada son. I bet you could start a war with these realistic models like these. Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. Yo. Welcome. Alright, Hawaii. I'll take one of the everything you showed me today. I'll need an entire arsenal. How long would that take? Mm. Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to go through customs. How long things get stuck there's totally out of my control though. Tell me, Moon, what's your son's name? That's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, I might just have to let your son in on a little secret. <clears throat> Please. I wonder how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the U Yakuza. I guess if things go sour, we could always try to sell him again. Fine, I'll put a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well then, I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Sorry to make you wait, kid. Jesus Shit. Christ, god damn it. So that was Tsuda. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn anything good? A hundred million yen, dear. Mm. So someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth a hundred million yen, and it happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Tsuda had something to do with it. I hear he's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. I've got to do some more research into it myself. <laughs> Anyways, nice job. I'm going to be able to give Tsuda a real scare thanks to the info you gave me. Give it your all, motherfucker. Hey, that goes without saying. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Tsuda's face. It's been ages since I felt this excited. And it's all because you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. God damn it. All right. Well, I'm gonna head home early. Fuck off. All right. Later. So the play that, that this checks play rate wrote What do you think the Phantom Thieves are going to do about Akumura? It's an important work in the history of literature for being the first to use the word robot. Duh, make him have a change of heart. These corrupt corruption should just go bankrupt. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Akumura and the Phantom Thieves. Jeez, Domenkun, you were listening at least, right? 
Answer this question. The word robot didn't come from English. So what country did it come from? Robot? Robot? Uh, I don't fucking know robot. Where does that sound like it would come from? Robot? Austria? I don't think it's Austria either, but... Czechoslovakia? Way to go. That's right! It originated from Czechoslovakia, a European country. I suppose the question was a little obscure. The word robot comes from the Czech's word robota. Robo robota. Actually means slave labor. Nice going. For right. fuck's sakes. Existing only for slave labor, even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in order to live. She seems tired, but anyhow, if Akumaru doesn't see others as people, we need to change his heart. Yes, yes we do. Oh, my wifey, what is going on right now? Yes, we are going to hang out with you. 100% of always I will hang out with you. Oh, you want to go to the palace? Fucking rejected, for fuck's sakes. Let's go see if she wants to hang out, though. Rejected. Rejected. Yes, I want to go see my girlfriend. God damn it. Where should I go right now? What are you doing today? Yes, let's go hang out with Anne. Hey. Let's hang out. Are you sure about- Shut up. Just hang out with me. Oh, do you want to go somewhere if you have the time, I mean? Yeah. Um, let's go somewhere fun? Okay. Somewhere popular would be nice. What is all these places again? Bookworms, fuck that. Castle walls. What the fuck is this? That sounds boring. Art museums, that sounds like Yusuke would like that gay shit. Shrines and churches. What about electronic stores? Arcades, spas, and theme parks. Let's do this. God, why don't you just fucking pick then? Oh my god, you're a whore. Bars open to minors. Sorry. God! Lip smacking. Oh my fucking lord. Uh, no. We've already been there with her. Let's try something else. Fashion capital? Sure, let's go. Lady Anne hates you. You need more kindness, I think. How about. It'd be great if you could come shopping with me. Even just going for people watching is interesting. Let's go. Hey. There's a shop I like around here, so I come pretty often, but all the people are such a pain. What gives them the right to be here? Anyway, let's get through quickly so we don't get caught by all the sales people. Uh. They were sold out of the clothes I wanted. In any case, there are so many different types of people here. It's fun just watching them. People might think I'm weird if they see me all staring at them alone, but I'm sure it's fine as long as I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're here. Being by myself in a crowd just makes me feel even lonelier. I mean, things are half as fun if you don't have anyone to share them that fun with, right? Hey. I wonder what all these people are thinking about right now. 
Your kindness is only at level 3. I think it only needs to be at level 2 or 3. I think 3 maybe. So maybe she'll hang out with you soon. Some of them might even be sad beneath those happy exteriors and we never know. Hey, don't you get fired up when you're thinking about helping them out? Okay, I'm never mind. That's not what we're talking about. Oh, that couple's in a big fight. The girlfriend's totally going for the knockout punch. Oh, yeah. Hey, they were handing these things out, so I took one. Are you interested in this stuff? You can have it if you want. Oh, damn. She's giving me gifts. Oh, shit. Let's see what kind of gifts I have to give Lady Anne. Where are you, Lady Anne? Lady Anne. Did I pass her? And Takami cheap chocolate designer perfume I think I already gave that to her Castella I don't think I have that a heart ring I don't think I have that I didn't buy that KGB vest fuck me I have so many gifts but I don't have fucking anything oh this fan Crimson lipstick as well. And chocolate truffles. Alright, I got gifts galore. Here, take this fucking... Take... What should I give you? Take this fucking fan. Oh, these desserts are amazing. They melt in your mouth with such an elegant sweetness. Oh, I thought that said fan. It says flan. Apparently that's food. Okay. Thanks. You really know what a girl like me likes. Thank you so much. Well, let's get back. I should buy her that heart ring. That's really gonna. That's really gonna get her into my bed. I want to fix that laptop too. Or not fix it, but use it. Uh, you're back. I'm gonna try and use it right now, unless Makoto wants to hang out. Oh, look at that. That hooker's working today. Oh, so is this girl. I wanna see if it'll... If it's not gonna increase her rank, then I'm not fucking hanging out with her right now. Hello. Good evening. Fuck, it's not gonna increase. I'm not hanging out with you right now. I see. Piss off. Let's see if this one will increase. Oh Master Fuck. No, piss off. I fucking hate you. Let's go check out that laptop. I wanna see what that's about. We could do this shit later. Shady Commodities. Welcome to the alluring world of Tanaka Shady Commodities. The site uses text to speech for an easy to understand shopping experience. <coughs> you can obtain rare and unusual items, unusual items through Shady Commodities. Purchases will be delivered in a few days. You can only order one package at a time. More products will be available from Shady Commodities as you purchase more items. Try investing and see what valuables are stocked in the future. Forget any silly doubts or skepticism you might have and just sign up now. This site is incredibly shady, so are you going to sign up? Fuck yeah I am. Is it really okay to use your real name on a site like this? I'll use Joker. Your code name, eh? That's a good idea. Hello and welcome to Takama Shady Kamani's Mr. Joker. You've opened the door to possibilities that normal people can only dream of. Now you can find all the rare items you could possibly want. What the fuck? A ring infused with divine protection? I have no money. This is really depressing. Should I buy this? Makoto can be found outside the student office room. Yeah, I know. I was just there. I didn't see her, though. I kind of don't want to buy this yet. I 
I hope I can still do something. Let's go see if she's at the school then, because I want to hang out with her. Fuck, this place is getting too big. Where the fuck is the school now? School gate. Oh, is it Saturday? No, it's like Wednesday. Oh, it's evening. The school's fucking closed. God damn it. I wonder if I could hang out with the old man. Yeah. Nope. Fuck it anyways. I gotta go biking and this stream's going on for too long. So we are going to end this here, my friends. And we will continue on and go into the palace next time on episode 36. Anyways, thanks everyone for joining. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed your time here. And I will see you guys most likely probably tomorrow. I think I'm done streaming for tonight. Anyways, until next time. Have a good time. And stuff.